basically there's little data pad things that are little puzzles. Once you solve them, you get a, a, a number for the data, the keypad in the locker room. One is in the shower room, in A side. Where is it on the B side? Alright. Where would that even be? It wouldn't be on the roof, I don't think. Um, maybe in here somewhere? No. We already checked in there. Actually, the star's office still has stuff in it. Okay. I thought I cleaned it up pretty sufficiently. Um... I don't think we can do e-storage room yet, for reasons. Because we need to do the whole, uh, pushing the bookcase puzzle to even get access to the e-storage room, so we can't do that until we come back. I'm spending a lot of time paused, for the record, because, you know, Mr. X is gonna be, uh, showing up at any moment. So, like, to buy me some time to think, I'm kind of pausing the game a bunch. You know what? I'm gonna duck back into the safe room. That seems like a good idea. Um... There's just one there, so we can easily sidestep you. Um... So from here, we need to go to the right. Hope Mr. X isn't right here. He is not, so we're fine. Neat. Yeah, this is honestly going better than I expected it to, if I'm being honest. But simultaneously worse than I expected it to. It's kind of both. On one hand, um... You know, we're not completely getting curb stomped by every obstacle, so that's a win. On the other hand, I... I really wish I could remember what some of these items are. Also, thanks, game. Uh, <laughs> I think we already did that one. No, crap. No, wait, we didn't. That's the one in the third floor. So we need to find the battery. I'm gonna put away the medallion because, uh, not super useful. I'm gonna put away the lightning hawk because that's a really good weapon. And I, I'm gonna save that for bosses. We don't need this yet. Um... Till later. I should really carry around healing items, shouldn't I? I'm I'm gonna use one of these. <laughs> Keep these on hand. I'm not gonna save again because I just saved. I may be slightly compulsive with my saving in games, but I, I I'd like to think I'm not that compulsive. To just save like five times in a row. I totally would though. <laughs> uh, I totally have done that before, just saving constantly. And there's nothing really of note up there. Where? Maybe we do have to go to the roof. But I could have sworn the helicopter was there. Also, I'm not hearing footsteps, and that's actually concerning. The best times for Mr. X, if you ask me, is when you have no idea where he is. And that's actually something people were discussing about the demo of, um... Oh, there it is. Cool. We're set. We're fine. Piece of cake. Um... That's a relief. I just didn't comb the office thoroughly enough. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna go, go back down and save. Even though I just saved. Yeah, that's the best course of action. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, the best time for Mr. X is when you have zero idea where he is. Um, like when you hear him coming, he's close enough that he's more of just a, a nuisance than an actual, like, scary enemy. But when you literally don't know where he is, that's worse. Like right now, I'm not hearing anything, and that's making me really... Worried, to be honest. 
I know he's gonna spawn in soonish. Um, it's like I really like the concept of Mr. X. I know he's not for everyone because you know in a lot of cases he's just kind of yeah inconvenient. Um, I'm gonna save, and I know I I just was being like oh. Don't worry. I just saved. I don't need to keep saving. We're in a part where I can very easily die. Um, I'm not confident with this particular stretch because you got a liquor, you got Mr. X. That's a lot to deal with in one time, so I'm gonna tread lightly. Speaking of treading lightly, um,. One weird thing is I, I tend to not swear when playing video games on stream, and on video too, I try to avoid language, despite the fact that I'm currently playing an M-rated game. I don't know why I feel the need to avoid swearing. That's just a personal preference. Alright, so we got a problem. Um, that problem is Mr. X. That's why I saved. Because I'm pretty sure once we detonate this, he's going to start showing up. Um, so there's a little cheat you can do, though, that makes things a little easier for you. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the way it works is you actually want to go through this door. Because that messes up the bookshelf somehow. The bookshelf is supposed to fall and blockade this door, but if you, like, stand here, the bookshelf won't be there. Um... So that just makes things a little easier for us, not having to worry about moving the bookshelf with Mr. X and potentially a liquor trying to get us. Um... That's something I learned from speedruns. Sometimes not all these zombies die from the explosion, which is really unfortunate. So this is Tiger something. Or oh, is it for another one? Again, we're at least gonna leave the police station before ending this part, so that's... I'll, I'll, I, I count that as a win. Um, Ram, Harp, Bird. I think that's the Harp. I, I guess that's the Bird. Neat. So the game is divided into a few parts. Police station. I could have sworn Mr. X was supposed to show up. There he is. Right on cue. But again, since we did the little bookshelf trick, it will be much easier to uh, outmaneuver him. Except, I got comboed, so never mind. Fun fact, you actually advised to do this, um, because otherwise the timer will keep running. So if you actually load an autosave or a previous save, you actually don't have time added to your score. So um, not that I'm trying to do a speedrun or whatever, I just, I, I, I'm just, I have the habit of doing this. Do we have the medallion? Okay, so we have to do this again. <laughs> So one weird problem with uh, Nemesis that people are reporting is that Nemesis goes down really easily. Um, for example, literally to deal with Nemesis, you just throw one grenade, he's down. Which is the main complaint I've seen about uh, Nemesis, is he's too easy to incapacitate. So now that that's taken care of, we have a much easier time. So he should be right behind us, but no worries. We're fine. We have a boss coming up, and I'm actually worried, because I have no ammo. Um... I also don't have a knife, because I used it on this zombie out here, so that's, that's bad. Um... Alright, so, coming down here... Um... And voila! We're done. Problem. Do I want to leave right now? Or 
do I want to stay and collect more supplies? Because I'm feeling very ill-equipped for a boss fight right now. I'm gonna be honest. Um... How much do I have? I have 12 there, 4 there, 3 there. No defensive items of note. Yeah, no knife, which would be really great. There was a knife somewhere else. Where was that? I should duck out and grab- yeah, I should get that. Do not try this at home. <laughs> this is a mistake. I'm guaranteeing this is a mistake. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, no. Just gonna rethink my life at this point. How am I gonna do this? Oh, goody. Lovely. Actually, can they come into this room? This is like a safe room. I'm pretty sure it is. Well, that's just rude. Now I'm stuck in a chair. I did not know they can actually enter this room, I'm gonna be honest. So that completely caught me- caught me off guard. Um... I know- I know- I keep wanting to call him Nemesis. You know what I mean, I, I- I'm pretty sure they can't get into the room, but I guess regular zombies can. Again, that's news to me. Um... Yeah, very unfortunate. Um... I never said this would be an efficient run. Again, there's a reason I've been putting it off, because... Efficiency and Leon B do not go together in my mind. Um... I thought there's more handgun ammo over here, somewhere. Like, behind a shelf or something. Again... I would advise no one to actually be like me, I'll be honest, and like dilly-dallying this much. This is a mistake. Yeah, using a healing item there is bad. You know what else is bad? That. Um, we're gonna have to cut through the lounge, aren't we? The lounge goes to the hallway, which goes to the star office, so we're fine. This is just going to be a little bit roundabout. Linen room. Um... So how's everyone doing? <laughs> how's your Wednesday? In all seriousness, um... It is fun having a game that I actually don't know as well. Again, I know the general... Point A to point B, but I don't know the specifics of it. So a lot of it's like I'm, I'm I'm definitely having to wing it a lot. Um, I don't hear him. That's bad. But yeah, Nemesis is apparently a lot more scripted, which I I feel like makes sense because quite frankly, uh. Apparently, RE3 in general is very linear. Like, the main complaint I've heard about Resident Evil 3 Remake is it's super linear compared to 2. Um, you have nothing like the police station where you actually have to actively go around solving puzzles and whatever. Um, it's just kind of a straight one-shot A to B kind of progression. That's another thing where, yeah, if you, like, mash aim, you can actually go downstairs faster. Also, here's a weird trick. Um, apparently, there's a weird bug in this where... Um, apparently, there's a weird bug in this game where if you actually have a higher frame rate, um, your knife attacks do more damage. 
I don't know what would even cause that to happen, but apparently that's a thing. Um... So, that's why people speedrun the game on PC. Because if you crank up to like 120 FPS, you're gonna do more damage. I don't know how this works. Um, but this is like a widely accepted bit of trivia about this game, so I assume it's accurate. Um... You have plenty of gunpowder, why not? So this turns into handgun ammo, which... ...is for this weapon. Which I actually am not really feeling like using. Actually, no, that's not gonna be a problem. I'll just do this. Yeah, Leon has like three handguns. It's a little much to... ...uh... ...to maneuver around. Yes, we have a boss fight coming up, so that's why I'm stockpiling over here. Um, problem is, there's gonna be items in the arena, so I'm not. Mm, this is a mistake. I'm, I'm not gonna use these two. I'm gonna save ammo. Just stick with the handguns and hope for the best. Um, I'm gonna save here. Obviously, we can reload if we die, and then do more inventory sorting. Um, Like this. Again, I applaud speedrunners who can inventory manage on the fly. Also, we don't need wooden boards, obviously. Um, nice fedora, actually. I wonder if that's like where Mr. X got his. Alright. Uh, saving. Almost forgot. Oops. This is a bad run. I'm almost tempted to save over here, but I'll stick it out. <laughs> 